The Blue and Grey by Francis Miles Finch Read for LibriVox.org by April Gonzalez in Cavite, Philippines By the flow of the inland river, whence the fleets of iron have fled, where the blades of the grape grass quiver, asleep are the ranks of the dead, under the sword and the dew, waiting the judgment day, under the one, the blue, under the other, the grey, these in the robbings of glory, those in the gloom of defeat, all with the battle blood gory, in the dust of eternity meet. Under the sword and the Jew, waiting the judgment day, under the laurel, the blue, under the villa, the grey. From the silence of sorrowful hours, the desolate mourners go, lovingly laden with flowers, alike for the friend and the foe. Under the salt and the dew, waiting the judgment day. Under the roses, the blue. Under the lilies, the grey. So with an equal splendour, the morning sun rays fall. With a touch impartially tender, on the blossoms blooming for all. Under the salt and the dew, waiting the judgment day. Broidered with gold, the blue. Mellowed with gold, the grey. So when the summer calleth, on the forest and field of grain, with an equal murmur falleth, the cooling drop of the rain, under the sod and the dew, waiting the judgment day, wet with the rain, the blue, wet with the rain, the grey. Sadly, but not with upbraiding, the generous deed was done, in the storm of the years that are fading. No braver battle was won, under the sword and the dew, waiting the judgment day, under the blossom, the blue, under the garlands, the grey. No more shall the war cry severe, or the winding rivers be red. They banish our anger forever, when they laurel the graves of our dead, under the sword and the dew, waiting the judgment day. Love and tears for the blue, tears and love for the grey. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain.